My name is Laura Pruitt. I'm the executive director of Sir John Sunday. Um, I've been in this position for a year now. Excellent. And the mission of Sir John Sunday is to provide folks that normally fall through the cracks, medical cracks, that cannot afford surgeries for themselves, either because they have no insurance or their insurance deductible is so high that they cannot afford the surgery, we provide those surgeries free of charge. So how patients are referred to us are usually through medical clinics. Um, we work with a lot of um, free clinics around the state and they have to go to our website to, for a patient to be referred, so it has to get in our system. We are, we are licensed as a surgical center, so we're just like any major hospital or surgery except we're on a much smaller basis. So all the HIPAA rules and everything apply to us as well. So once the patient gets in our system, we look at the referral and we see what the problem is. And we have a medical director and a medical coordinator. And Nancy Johnson is our medical coordinator and she will look at that to see if it's a surgical request. And then what we do is we get that patient and we set them up with one of our surgeons, our volunteer surgeons. So immediately, if they're a candidate, we start communicating with them. We have many touches on them from when we get their um, referral to even after surgery. So we get to know them, we get to know their families pretty well, we get to know whoever's coming with them. A, a lot of people, you know, they, they need to come with someone to drive them front to and from um, the surgery, but those are people that are close to them that we've talked to along the way as well. So we do a lot of cataract surgeries, um, and I, I don't know if the regular, uh, our regular community knows that that cataract, you know, you, you go blind, um, or you have issues where you're blind anyway, but an easy surgery can fix your vision. So we do a lot of those, and there was one lady that was getting it done, and her boyfriend had brought her in, and one eye was completely blind and one wasn't. And in the um, recovery room, I was standing there and our PACU nurses were talking to her and they, they you come out with, a, with something on your eye, but they check it. And her boyfriend was sitting in the corner and she just smiled and she goes, oh my God, you're beautiful. <laughs> she said, it's so great to see you clear. So it was really, it was really, it was really cool. And everybody is so appreciative. Um, you know, when we have when we have to do pediatric surgery, when we have children, we, we take them stuff to the animals, and you know, we we try to make it as um, not scary um, as we can for them. The parents are the ones of the small children that are, are so grateful. Um, we've got a couple of groups um, that we have operated on that are in different communities, Mennonite communities, and what they did for us on their surgery day is they provided all the the lunch and breakfast and. For our volunteers, that's really all we can do is give them good food, and that was their way of paying back just to bring really good home baked food for us, and it was much appreciated. I think a lot of people don't understand is that when we say volunteers, it's not like the average volunteers like you or me. I do not have a medical degree, but the volunteers that make this program work are the you know 200 medical volunteers from pre-op nurses, PACU nurses, surgeons, first assists, ORs, OR techs, and without them, we can't, we can't do it. Um, you know, so all the, all the thanks really goes to them. Um, they're giving up one of their Sundays. We try to get them out by one o'clock. We start at 5.30, um, so at least have some of their Sunday. But um, it's really remarkable to see the same group of people usually come together to do this for other people that they don't know. We, we know them, but these are medical professionals that excluding the surgeon or just meeting them on that day. The grant that we asked for and the project that we asked for was just to help co cover the surgery costs. So we've got a partnership with Lexington um, Surgery Center down the road and years ago they came up with a set fee of what it would cost for a surgery, no matter whether that surgery was ear tubes or a hernia repair or a gallbladder removal. It was $354, which is cheap. <laughs> so basically, a, a surgery that would cost you $20,000, $15,000 in a hospital is going to cost $354. And so this year, what we asked from the Kentucky Colonels was just to help us with that cost per person. So basically, they've paid for 20 people to have free surgeries, um, which, is, which is fantastic. 
on behalf of Surgery on Sunday um, and all of our volunteers, I mean, we are so thrilled that Kentucky Colonels granted us with this, and we're so appreciative. Um, and Wade Connor, who was Kentucky Colonel, that took the time to come down to Lexington to talk to myself and Dr. Moore um, and understand what we really do. Not only do we appreciate the monies that you have granted, but we appreciate you all taking the time to to want to really know what we do and learn what we do. And I think that that, that makes a huge difference. Um, we received a lot of grants, you know, and their checks in the mail, which believe me, I'm so appreciative for, but very few of these um, philanthropic funds that help us, the, do they really want to take time to see what we're about. So I very much appreciate you all doing that.